Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Gizmo Joe. Today I have a bit of an odd one for you. Uh, so, just a little bit of background. I'm currently in the United States, but I live in Australia. And uh, when I came over to visit my family for the holidays, I had my Elephone S8, and I was concerned that I wasn't going to be able to use the Elephone S8 uh, on the you know the United States 4G cellular networks um, because everything in writing essentially said I wouldn't be able to um, now I have a video up um, a couple weeks ago now where I actually test the Elephone S8 on AT&T's 4G network and I was very happy and quite shocked actually to discover that it works uh, so that's what I've been using I've just been using my Elephone S8 and uh, been hanging out in the states and everything and it's been great um, now, I was very, very happy that I could use my actual daily driver, um, but before I actually landed, uh, I had a buddy of mine who uh, works for AT&T. I told him, I said, can you grab me a phone um, just in case my phone doesn't work? Uh, I just said, it doesn't have to be anything flashy. It just needs to have 4G uh, so that, you know, when I'm out and about, you know, I, I, I get those speeds. And he was like, yeah, yeah, sure, no problem. I have a phone for you. Uh, and you know, it only costs 20 bucks. And I said, how is that even possible, right? I mean, you, you know, you can get cheap phones on geek buying and Gearbest and all that sort of stuff, but they're, you know, brands that you've never heard of or, you know, the, the spec wise, they're, they're pretty, pretty poor. I mean, I don't even think you can get one for 20 bucks that even has 4G. So I was like, I cannot believe that there is a phone that I could get in the United States right now um, that is 4G for only 20 bucks. Uh, but here it is. It is the ZTE Maven 2. Um, so according to my buddy who works for AT&T, there is the Maven 3, uh, which just came out this year, or 2017 rather. And this one is the previous year's model. So uh, this is from 2016. Now it is a AT&T Go phone, which uh, in my understanding is essentially a prepaid phone. So it's essentially a budget device aimed at people who don't want to be locked into a contract or whatever. Uh, but this one is still available on AT&T's website. Um, now, I've had a look around. You can get them on Amazon. You can get them at Walmart and stuff like that, but they're a little bit pricey. AT&T, if you have AT&T, if AT&T is your carrier, you can pick this guy up for $20. That's it. Um, I mean, obviously, state and local taxes apply, but 20 bucks for a 4G phone is insane. Um, so if it's, you know, the case of someone who, you know, maybe isn't that tech savvy or doesn't want something too flashy, uh, you know, it might be a good option or, you know, for kids, uh, you know, if you have a, a kid or a preteen or whatever, I don't know what age typically people get their kids phones, but, uh, you know, if you don't want to spend a ton of cash on something that, you know, let's face it, they might break, drop, whatever. Uh, you can't go wrong for 20 bucks. Um, or can you? Uh, let's find out. So anyway, uh, as I mentioned, I've been using my um, Elephone S8 for the majority of the time that I've been here, but uh, this guy, I was curious. So I popped the SIM card into him, and I used him for a couple days, and just so I could do this review, because I was really, really curious. I mean, for me, 20 bucks. I mean, that's insane. Um, so let's have a look. So, obviously, uh, oh, by the way, this launcher here um, is AP15. I can leave a link down in the description for you guys if you are curious. But basically, it replaces everything with text. Obviously, you can kind of see that there. And, you know, the ones that you use more often are the ones that get bigger in size. And you can customize it and all that sort of stuff. But anyway, on to the phone. Um, so, the uh, processor in this guy is a Qualcomm 210 uh, quad-core uh, processor at 1.1 gigahertz. Now the Qualcomm 210s are a budget processor. They are uh, not very good, uh, but essentially it was a way to uh, get 4G into budget devices. Um, now the reason why I'm using AP15 is because uh, I find that their performance is a little bit better um, when it's just text as opposed to icons that animate. Now it only has four, or, or, so I'm, I'm sorry, it only has one gigabyte of RAM and it has eight gigabytes of storage. So that eight gigabytes of storage is pretty much, uh, you know, you're going to have to get a micro SD card, and, uh, which this guy uh, supports. But if you look here, if we jump into all the apps, there's a whole bunch of just bloatware on here. All this AT&T junk. I mean, and you can't uninstall it. I mean, I've had a look around online to see if you can root this guy. Uh, some people have been successful with, you know, programs like... Uh, 
Kingo root and stuff like that, but I was not successful. I could not root this guy. And to be honest with you, for 20 bucks, I was like, I'm not going to waste my time trying to, you know, root it. Anyway, so there's lots of stuff on there. I've disabled a lot of them, but I mean, it takes up a lot of space. I mean, AT&T Locker, Ask MD. I mean, all this stuff adds up. You know, you're talking about, you know, 50 gig or megabytes or whatever. All of it adds up over time, and it doesn't leave the user with a heck of a lot of storage. So you're going to want to get a micro SD card uh, and pop it in there. Now, what's cool about this guy, and this is something that you almost never see anymore, um, so I was actually quite surprised, pleasantly surprised, is that it's kind of a removable back. Um, and you can remove the battery in there. So as you can see, there's a, uh, you know, I believe that's a micro SIM. And I just stuck a cheap 16 gigabyte Samsung uh, card in there for storage. Um, it's all plastic, obviously. Uh, I think that was, uh, I'm sorry for not mentioning the build materials. But I mean, it's pretty solid, but it's light and it's all plastic. Um, anyway. Getting back to the phone, uh, one gigabyte of RAM doesn't do it any favors either, so you're not going to be doing any gaming or anything like that. But, you know, YouTube, uh, you know, you can Instagram, all that sort of stuff works. Uh, it's, it's, you know, again, a, a cheap budget model. Now, I will say the screen is uh, something to be desired. It's only a 480 uh, panel in there, so it's pretty weak. The viewing angles are pretty poor. Um, you know, if you're not looking at it straight on, uh, you're probably going to have problems uh, discerning what the heck is going on on the screen, especially if you're watching videos and stuff like that. I mean, you have to be looking at it straight on. Um, you know, I mean, if you get real close, you can see pixels and stuff like that. But again, for 20 bucks, you can't really complain. Um, one of the other things that probably people are concerned about are the cameras. So you have a front facing camera for selfies and stuff. And then you got the back one here. Obviously, that's the AT&T logo. Um, it is locked to AT&T. I didn't do any research to see if you could unlock it, but it, I'm sure it's possible. Uh, so that's an 8 megapixel camera. Um, I'm assuming it's interpolated. Um, so it's not really 8 megapixels, probably like 5 or something. But uh, the, the, the picture quality is pretty abysmal. Um, so, I mean, you're definitely not going to want to use it to shoot really anything. Uh, I found that the video quality was a little bit better, um, but still shots were pretty poor. I mean, you have to be in really, really good light. Uh, forget anything at night. It's just not going to be able to take it. Um, it just can't cope. Uh, the, the selfie one, I mean, it's, I think it's two megapixels. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I don't take a lot of selfies, but you know, you play around with it. You're holding it right in front of your face. So it's not that bad. Um, other than that, I mean, this guy, uh, one thing I was really impressed with is the sound quality. Um, so, I mean, I'll just play you uh, like the Elephone 4G video, and I'll see if I can crank this guy up. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Gizmo Joe. Um, today, I have a really, really short video for you. Uh, I've made it to the United States. Uh, some of you um, know that, that I was... Uh... Anyway, um, as you can see... It has a phenomenal speaker. Um, I mean, I think the, the 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 clarity on it is really good. It's really loud as well. I mean, it's louder than the Elephone S8, and I think you know it's actually might even surpass it in terms of actual quality. I mean, it, you know, the sound isn't tinny either. Um, so I will have to give ZTE um, credit where credit is due, but that speaker is pretty good. I was pleasantly surprised with it. Uh, but unfortunately, that's about it. That's the only thing that is really impressive about this particular phone. And again, it's a budget phone. It's 20 bucks. Uh, you can't expect much from it. But, like I said, the, the big takeaway is that the screen, uh, again, 5 inches, 480 panel, not very good. Viewing angles are not great. Uh, the camera is pretty abysmal. Um, like I said, for video, it's a little bit better, but I found still shots, it struggled quite a bit. Uh, just not very good detail, um, and forget trying to capture anything that's moving. It's just not going to happen. Um, you know, it's, it's light, it's, you know plastic. Um, it can take a beating. I've dropped it many, many times, uh, even just in the short little while that I've been using it. But for 20 bucks, uh, if you're looking for just a backup phone or a phone for a child or somebody who doesn't really care about, you know, all the latest and greatest stuff. Oh, I should also mention that this is running Android 6.0, so it's Marshmallow. Um, so not the newest, but, you know, pretty decent. You get a pretty fluid experience from it despite the fact that it's got pretty modest, or let's face it, pretty low-budget uh, parts on the inside. Um, 
But again, if if you're looking for something simple that will get the job done, I mean, this guy will do in a pinch. Um, you know, especially if it's for a kid or uh, somebody who's not that tech savvy and doesn't really care, and all they really want to do is you know have something that they can pull Google Maps up on occasionally and do some light googling or whatever. This will do it. Um, and like I said, the speaker is really good. Call quality is pretty good. Um, and everything else is as you would expect. Uh, but I mean, for 20 bucks, it's pretty amazing. Uh, I, I, I just couldn't believe it. Couldn't believe I could get a 4G phone, uh, you know, relatively new, using relatively um, new software and stuff like that, uh, for, for $20. I mean, that, that to me is insane. Um, anyway, if you are interested in buying this guy, I will leave a link down in the description uh, so that you can grab him. Uh, be aware that it is locked to AT&T. Can you unlock it? I don't know. Probably. Maybe. I don't know. Don't, don't quote me on that. But... That's going to do it for today. Hopefully uh, this has been somewhat useful to you, and I will catch you next time. And probably I will be in Australia by then. Um, as I mentioned in the last video, we have a ton of phones to get through. So I've got about three phones, I think, sitting back in Australia waiting for me to unbox and review them. So I'm really looking forward to that. So stick around, stay tuned, uh, like, subscribe, uh, share on social media, whatever you can do to help me out would be great. And thanks for tuning in. This has been Gizmo Joe, and I'm signing off.